My name is Adeo Mbaba Femi. I work with Renovation of as an Agritech Program Manager. The FAO estimated that the food produced globally for women consumption is lost or wasted across the supply chain. This is even higher in Africa. In 2018, the Food Connection Challenge put out a call to agribusiness, small and middle-sized entrepreneurs in Nigeria, and submit innovative solutions, ideas to reduce post-harvest loss, thus stimulating the increase of business opportunity as well as to contribute to the sustainable development goal of responsive consumption and production. One of the preconditions was that applicants should have already existing business, thereby emphasizing on acceleration rather than building of new business. From the pool of the applicants, eight entrepreneurs were selected here in Nigeria, and the top eight also went through the bootcamp session, where all the entrepreneurs were matched with mentors to help them fight tune their solution and make their solution market fit and also investment ready. The winner from Nigeria, Super Kitchen Nigeria and Smiley Kitchen Mobile, Smiley Mobile Kitchen, received a sum of 20,000 euro as a grant to implement their solution, which is meant to be co-financed co by them. Smiley's Mobile Kitchen is a meal delivery service with a healthy home style as an alternative fast to food. Through the FCC program, they implement a way to pasteurize, bottle and store tomato the whole year round while retaining the original flavor and taste. In addition, they install a solar dryer to improve shelf life of tomato and diversify their product line while decreasing post harvest loss. Super Kitchen, that which is based in Ibadan, nourish customers with soup product and support local farmers as off-taker. Through the FCC program, Super Kitchen wanted to establish a drying facility right beside the farm where they purchase their vegetable. But because of a peculiar challenge, it had to have the processing uh, um, plant in their own factory. The FCC allowed Super Kitchen to increase its capacity and sales and contribute to the reduction of post harvest losses in Oyo State, Nigeria. The procurement of improved equipment such as solar dryer, heat extractor, vegetable slicing machine, and stainless steel food meal resulted in increase of production of powdered soup sachet by 100% from 3,000 to 6,000 units per month. The launch of three additional retail stock contribute to a complete turnover and increase the turnover by 59% at approximately 4,000 euro per month. The investment through the voucher also allowed them to add micronutrient fortification to the product line to support and increase the intake of micronutrients by base of the pyramid customer. During the implementation period, Super Kitchen has able to increase its monthly collection of tomato, pepper, ginger, garlic, onion, and leaf green from farmers in the area from 6.8 to 10 tons per month. This is quite impressive. During the peak period of certain produce, they were even able to collect as much as 16 tons per month. Notable achievement with Smiley Mobile Kitchen following their participation in the FCC program. Smiley's Mobile Kitchen went through a comprehensive professionality process. They registered as a liability com limited liability company with a proper board of director and management on their team. Smiley's worked with a group of farmers through connection with Techno South Nigeria and East West Seed. This collaboration made their impact easier to track and mail. As part of their collaboration, they also engage in training of farmers to improve quality of tomato production with varieties as they increase their shelf life. The interesting thing is this, with Smiley's mobile product, it has a shelf life of over 12 months. By buying tomato in harvest season, processing it into tomato paste and selling outside the harvest season, Smiley have been able to collect 12.5 tons of tomato procuring a large part of tomato production, of which normally a large amount goes on soap, and end up as post harvest losses. Consecutive production of Smiley's fresh potato, which is 100% pure tomato with no additive or preservation, has a one year shelf life, and allows mine to generate 5,000 euro and establish a profit margin of 40% since the disbursement of the grant. Their strategy includes to procure and process tomato when they are have it in abundance and have it cheap, and sell their processed produce in off-season. This experience has helped us also to confirm our processes here at Renovation Hub. This project helps us to confirm our models to be effective. The payment 
of ground based on major milestone as she was key to entrepreneur fulfilling their said deliverables. The implementation of said deliverables was accomplished by the entrepreneur due to proper monitoring and grant release based on milestone achieved. The strategy session also helped the entrepreneur to take the right decision, make necessary consultation before decisions were made. The two winners were able to achieve their set objective because they have a right team to execute and implement the set objective. The grant received helped the two winners in optimizing their process, thereby increase their productivity sales, revenue, while solving post-harvest loss. Hi, my name is Ifeolu Olatayo and I'm the founder of Super Kitchen. At Super Kitchen, we work with local farmers and collect produce like tomatoes, pepper, ginger, garlic, and we further process these vegetables into ready-to-cook spices that are fortified with iron and vitamin A, majorly to tackle the problem of malnutrition and to reduce the post-harvest losses of vegetables in Nigeria. Service loss is affecting the value chain of our business because we depend on raw materials to produce quality products for our consumers. And without these quality raw materials from the farmers, we are not able to produce. So economically, it means when, uh, uh, when a farmer produces and loses about 50% of this to different causes of post-harvest loss reasons and that means we have limited amount of raw materials to use which eventually drives up, uh, up our costs so that's on an economical level but on a social level it also means that these farmers have to depend on the little produce left for them to be able to make profit um, which is actually bringing a high level of poverty in the rural area and on an environmentally level it affects our business because we are a business that cares about our planet and as post-harvest loss of foods uh, create methane gas emissions that deplete the atmosphere. So essentially, it, it affects our business as a whole. Entered for the Food Connection Challenge in 2018, I think early the March 2018 or there about, or February. And I, some weeks later, I got a mail that I, uh, I got to the final. So I was selected as one of the eight entrepreneurs uh, to be trained all through the process of the Food Connection Challenge before a winner emerged. So I, I, we were trained by Crosswise Works. The boot camp was held on the International Institute of Agriculture training, and that was the IIT in Ibadan, in Nigeria. So we held the boot camp and there was an in-depth training and structuring of our businesses for all the eight finalists. After which we were meant to carry out some assignments like um, do some research works, validate some hypotheses. And after doing that, we, we moved on to the clash of ideas, which enabled all the entrepreneurs to present the ideas to a panel of judges and then four best ideas emerged on that second level, that second stage. And from the four, we, uh, for, for the four, um, do I say semi-finalists now? So the four semi-finalists, we also got further training and mentoring at this time, like one-on-one -on -one mentoring to be sure that we could identify the problem on the value chain that has to do with um, protecting our food and not making sure that we're having food loss or post-harvest losses. And all the entrepreneurs worked on it and we eventually pitched at the finals where I emerged the winner. Um, which was November 2018, thereabouts. So the government of the Netherlands, through the Food Connection Challenge, gave us a grant of 20,000 euros, which has exponentially helped us to increase our impact. We were majorly able to get equipment, that uh, industrial equipment for us to use to process more products which means we, can, we could uh, rescue more foods from the farm, more raw materials from the rural farmers, and then we brought it to a processing facility and processed more units of our products, making sure that we're also able to penetrate market with a very good uh, standard distribution model. So altogether, the, the 20,000 euros grant helped us to increase our impact, also improve our business model.
In the whole process of the Food Connection Challenge, I learned a lot. Aside from the fact that we were given the grant, we were also given um, like a check system through the Innovation Hub. That's a check system more like uh, the grant managers to make sure that we had good use of good idea of what we want to use the, the grant for and then application of the, of, the, of the plans that we placed before them. So there was like a mentoring accountable stage where we had an idea and then we placed it rightly. But what I learned all through the process was the fact that working with people is more important. Like not seeing, uh, not seeing external bodies as a competition but as collaborators. This example works well with the fact that we had some grand, grand loss plans and by the time we, we wanted to execute them, we had a deadlock because we couldn't work with the cooperatives, the farmers cooperatives. So if I could check back or if I could turn back the hand of time, I would have wished that I brought a plan that would make me work directly with a group of the farmers and not as individual farmers in different rural areas uh, that much. But it was really uh, an eye-opening um, experience. I learned on the business side and on the social, uh, social impact side of, uh, of the, our whole enterprise. It was really worth being a part of, and thank you very much once again. Hi, my name is Ogala Lois Kange, and you're welcome to Smiley Small Market. Because harvest loss has been a problem in the tomato value chain for a very long time. One of the problems is that because tomato is highly perishable, some of it gets lost in transportation and also in storage. And those are one of the reasons that uh, we decided to enter the food collection challenge because we also use tomatoes and we experienced these losses. So we decided to research and find out the real ways in which we can call some of these losses that are experienced in the tomato value chain. So Smiley's Mobile Kitchen started in 2012 and then we got registered as a business name in 2014. It started out with the passion for, it started as a food delivery company with a passion for creating good meals that could be delivered to your doorstep at your convenience. But today Smiley's Mobile Kitchen has Connection challenge was really awesome. So I went into the program thinking that it was just another entrepreneurship program, like same old, same old, same learnings and all that. But it was totally different. I got to learn things that I had never ever heard before, and I got to interact with other entrepreneurs, other business people that are making huge impact in the agri space. I got to, it because it was a field that I was delving in far different from anything I'd experienced before. And so I got the opportunity to learn from those who were already, you know, seasoned entrepreneurs in that space. And that was awesome for me. They also did something quite unique. They gave us mentors. And those mentors were really exceptional. Up until today, I still have ongoing relationship with some of my coaches and mentors from the Food Connection Challenge. For me, they are now mentors for life because what I have received for them are things that are going to help me through my business career and into the future. And then Innovation Hub came in during the time of implementation of the project. They had supervisors come in and check every stage of implementation of the project and it was really good because we got advice from them, they told us things that you know we needed to do better and all that and it was an awesome working relationship throughout the process. Which, were, which is where we process our tomatoes into paste. 
none of this would have been possible without you know the grants that we received from the food connection challenge now we have our tomato paste and this tomato paste is a product that is helping also to reduce Gustavus loss in the greenhouse gas by 0.01% annually and this is just a little bit of what we are able to do All in all, the FCC has been a wonderful experience. One thing that I wish I had done differently would have been leveraging quicker on the connections. Leveraging faster on the connections that I received and I got to make during the FCC. Instead of waiting for some time, I should have actually immediately leveraged on these connections because I've learned in two years of this whole process and opening this arm of the business much more than I, and I, than I have learned in the past five years combined that I was doing the business before this. So it's been a very wonderful one. And moving forward, one of the things that I would advise should be done for the next um, Food Connection Challenge, if it is going to be something like a seasonal product, I would advise that funds for the winners be released quicker and also taking into consideration the farming season so that they are able to implement very quickly and start production very quickly. That's, you know, just my little advice moving forward. Thank the Food Connection Challenge has been a beautiful experience and I'm actually very grateful to God and grateful to Innovation Hub, grateful to the partners, um, Crosswise Works, um, Food Connection Challenge, the sponsors from the Netherlands and everybody who actually made this whole process a success and I'm hoping that there will be much more of such in the future for others to be able to benefit and for us to be able to actually reduce post-harvest loss in Nigeria.